Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm not sick, it's just really early in the morning. I have a doctor's appointment um, with my OB. I go to um, my baby doctor every two weeks now instead of every four and it's early in the morning so I'm just getting ready and I just want to try something new so I am going to use all cream products on my face uh, and not use any powder because I love like doing cream contour and cream blush and highlight but I always feel like I need to put like a translucent powder on top and I feel like that takes away from it like what's the point but I've never went out without putting like a powder over top of like my foundation and stuff now the one exception is going to be setting my concealer because I, I kind of set my concealer uh, so like the eye area that don't count but like for my face we're doing cream products only uh, so yeah, it should be interesting and I don't have to be out real long today so if it starts breaking up it's not a big deal. I'm literally going to my doctor appointment. I'll be there 30 minutes maybe and then I'm just coming home. But I will do some check-ins throughout the day uh, to see kind of how it holds up. But um, me and my friend Caitlin um, that I go to church with we were just talking about how we can never like not set our foundation and stuff. But then we don't like the powdery look either. So yeah. I thought this would be something fun to try, like, just to make myself do it. Okay, so I'm going to prep my skin first. Uh, I'm going to put some of my Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil on my skin first. Because my skin, you know, it gets dry and I want it to be nice and moisturized. If I want to wear cream products, I don't want anything looking crusty which my skin's doing really good right now i think i mentioned that in my last video and i'm sorry for getting sick of this yellow headband it's my new favorite i just discovered that i love wearing the color yellow who knew not me because i think i have let's see my this shirt has yellow on it see um and I liked it, but when I went to go pick out my dress in Lexington for my cousin Kelsey's wedding, it was yellow, and when I put it on, I was like, yellow is a good color for me. Like, it's flattering on me, I think. And actually, I had another lady tell me that when I tried the dress on, how um, I looked good in yellow. But it's something that I never bought. I never buy yellow. So I wanted to start buying yellow stuff because I like it. And this is kind of like that mustardy yellow, which I like. Okay, so that sinks right into the skin. I'm going to give it just a minute just to kind of dry, but I think we're good. Okay, so for primer, I want to be radiant, you know. So I'm going to use this IPKN Radiant Cream Primer, and I'm going to put that all over my face. I've already just about used all of this because I really, really like it. It's not really moisturizing. Well, I mean, it might be a little bit moisturizing, but it's more of like gives you kind of like a glow. It's got more of a stickiness to it than a moisturizing feel, so that's why I wanted to put that oil underneath. But it gives a really pretty, I think, it smells like it has SPF in it, maybe. Do you have SPF in you? Uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does. SPF 15. I could tell. I could smell it. So that's good. It's radiant and has skin benefits. Okay, so see how glowy that made me? I like it. I like it. I'm going to go all cream. I want to look like a glowing goddess, you know? Okay, and then I'm just taking just a smidgen of my Optical Illusion Primer. I didn't even take a full pump this time because I'm not putting it all over my face. I'm just tapping it in this area around where I have that, those laugh lines and any kind of like pores around my nose and right on my forehead. I'm not spreading it to the rest of my face. And this kind of has a highlighting property in it as well. It's kind of got that pink tone. So... Yeah, I'm just nicely tapping that into the skin. Okay. So there's our base. I'm feeling very prepped. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going in with my Josie Moran. Love this foundation. Whoop. 
have to drop it everywhere. I don't want much because I don't want to have like a big thick foundation that I can't sit down. So I'm just going to uh, put a little and I'm using my beauty blender just to tap that into the skin. I'm collecting more cream products like I just now recently got a cream blush. I didn't have one of those. I've got several cream highlights. Uh, I have a cream contour stick that I love that Susan sent me. So I've got the products to do it now. Okay, so there's my foundation. You can still see my skin, which I like. But it kind of just evens it out. You can see there's some redness here. But I'm going to use some concealer. Maybelline, Adrian Wand, y'all know. And this gives me that little extra coverage that I need right in that problem area where I have uh, some redness. And I used to think it was just because I had acne and stuff so bad. But I think I have a little bit of rosacea like right here because it never goes away. Because I don't have any bumps here right now. It's just a little bit of redness and my skin's not dry either. So I guess it's just some rosacea. It's not bad though. It's very easily covered. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye because that's the only thing that I'm setting. Um, okay, I'm going to use my Anastasia contour kit today and I'm just going to use this uh, like vanilla shade and I'm not going to put this down on my cheeks because I don't want it to interfere with the other cream products I'm going to put on. So just going directly under my eye. Good, not too much. But that's the only powder I'm using. Other than my eyeshadow that I already have on. But I mean on my face. Okay, so next I'm going to contour. So I'm using my Hard Candy Contour Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick in Light. Love this thing. And I'm just going to get my hair out of the way first. Just going to draw a line. On each side and a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on the sides of my nose and right under my lip okay and I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that out actually I don't want to use a brush I think I'm gonna use a brush I think I like using a brush with this better so I'm actually gonna use this little brush that I got uh, in my glossy glossy box right yeah glossy box no, it wasn't Glossy Box. Susan sent this to me. I'm like, why was I blanking? I've had so much stuff lately, I can't remember. Anyway, this is a little brush from Crown. It just says Crown, so I guess Crown Beauty, Crown Brushes. I'm not really sure what the brand is, but I've been loving this for cream products. See, look how nice and natural that looks. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, darn, I can't open my eye. What's in there? Oh, I'm gonna mess up all my makeup. Oh, time out. Okay, so I had to like retouch my eyeliner. I don't have any idea what, what was in my eyeball, but oh, I think it's gone. Oh, okay, that was tragic. Alright, so back to blending this out now. I love this brush for this. It just does it flawlessly. Okay, we're good there. So it's very natural. I could add more, but I don't want to. So, oh, I've got my nose running and everything. I don't know if a bug through flew through. Oh my gosh. I don't know if a bug flew in it or if it's like a piece of like lint or what, but 
post-traumatizing ever so slightly <laughs> okay so now I'm going into my elf uh, cream blush in soft rose and I'm using the elf ultimate blending brush for this I also love this for cream products so I'm just gonna dip right in there okay I love this color too it's so pretty oh okay and I'm just going to tap that onto my cheeks Okay, and then we're just going to blend. I'm doing more of a tapping motion because I don't want to move around a lot of product. So it's more of like a stippling rather than like a buffing for this product anyway. That looks really pretty. Okay, I'm going to add just a smidgen more contour. Now that I have that blush on, I can tell I want just a little bit more just on my cheeks. I think my forehead's good. So, going into my little brush again and going to buff that out. Okay, I really, really like the way that's looking. I'm going to take my beauty blender and go around just the edges just to make sure everything is melting in with my foundation good. I don't want nothing to look funky. Okay, I think that looks good. Now for highlight. Okay, I'm going to use my Laura Geller, Geller, Laura Geller, uh, Easy Illuminating Stick in Ballerina. And that's just going to go right on the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my cupid's bow. And I'm just tapping this out with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to take my Tarte. Uh, Pro Glow Highlight and Stunner. I'm just going to put a smidge on each cheek or on the top of each cheek. Okay, and again, I'm just actually, I'm just going to use my finger to tap this out first because I don't want my beauty blender to pick up much of that product. I'm just going to slightly just Right on my nose and keep it to bow. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just tap. I'm going to finish my under eye real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so this was looking a little bit kind of like dark, like my stuff had migrated. So I took some of my highlight and contour stick and I take I'm taking the highlight shade and just sticking it right where that redness is. And I'm just going to blend that. Lastly, I do still want to do some setting spray just to feel like everything's kind of meshed together. So I'm going in with my Mario Badescu Facial Mist. Okay, guys, little man just woke up, so him's all sweepy still. But I have to go get him dressed. So this is the end product after my setting spray dried. I love the way my skin looks. Like, you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but you can see my skin. Like, it looks like... I could have possibly just put eye makeup on. I mean, not really, but kind of, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a big bunch of heavy makeup, and I really, really like it. And where I have such dry skin, I don't have to worry about, like, oils breaking through. So if the makeup itself just holds up, we'll be doing good. So I am going to do some check-ins throughout the day. But, yeah, that's it for now. So tell me what you think of, like, the first overall look of it. And then, uh, like I said, I'll do some... Uh, check-ins as the day goes by but I have to go get this little boy ready and give him a bite to eat before we leave so yeah I'll catch back up with you all in a little bit okay guys so I'm in the car my car makes a really weird noise when I first started up it's my uh, power steering my husband's getting ready to change the pump on it this little man he's not in a good mood right now <laughs> he does not want to be awake 
Um, but here is my skin out in the daylight. I'm loving the way it looks. It looks very natural. You can kind of see my glowy highlight and my contour, but it's not like a big like streak or anything. It doesn't feel bad. I thought it would feel a lot stickier than it does. Like I can kind of feel it, but it's not like, it's kind of like wearing just like a moisturizer. I'm so sorry about my car. I know that's probably drowning me out. It does quit, I promise. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would show you my skin. You can see I've kind of got some bumps on my forehead right now. Nothing too bad, but they're just kind of there. But the rest of my skin's actually doing really good considering. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm liking I'm liking the look of it. So tell me what you think. Okay guys, so it's check-in number two. It's uh eleven forty two now. Um, my appointment was at 10.45, but my doctor, she had to go over to the hospital, and I don't know what was going on, but she got behind on her office visits, so it's been a good hour, and I was sitting there with, like, my hands on my face and stuff, and everything, some of my little baby hair is poking out right here, but everything's still looking really good. I'm really liking the way my skin's looking today. I like the way it feels. Like I said, you can see, like, my bumps and stuff on my forehead, but that's not a big deal. That doesn't bother me but nothing's looking patchy or blotchy or anything so i'm really liking it but yeah me and the baby's been at the doctor's office for over an hour so i promised him an ice cream cone because he was so good wasn't you we're gonna go get ice cream aren't we no i ain't gonna talk but he was really really good in the waiting room and he didn't have Kanan with him today to keep him company so it was just me and him uh, but he was very well behaved, so I'm taking him to go get an ice cream, and then I'm, um, I'm thinking about going to Sephora, because I'm wanting to get some samples of some foundation, and I want to try out that Becca Backlight Primer, I think that's what it's called, or First Light, it's the purple one, like the lilac -y colored one, I kind of want to get a sample of that, so I may end up going to Sephora while I'm out and about, so we'll see. But I will do some more check-ins. But as of right now, I'm really liking the way this looks. And it doesn't feel bad, like, at all. Like, I'm sure if you had oily skin, this wouldn't work. But for me, it's just sunk right in. Everything feels really good. Nothing feels tacky. But, yeah, that's it for now. I'll talk to y'all soon. Okay, guys, so it's time for my last check-in. If I look like I'm at a weird angle, it's because I'm trying to face my lights. Because I don't have my um, window to shine on me because it is... It's late. Well, it's not really that late. It's dark, though, because it gets dark at, like, 5 o'clock. But it's uh, going on 8 o'clock, so this makeup has been on a really, really long time. Um, yeah, everything's still looking fairly good. Look at this hair. Goodness. Let's tuck it back up in there. Get rid of that. Okay. Anyway, so you still see my highlight really strong. Um... The blush is pretty much gone, and the contour is pretty much gone, but everything's faded. I just spat everywhere. But everything's faded, like, really, really seamlessly. Like, if you look at my face, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look blotchy or patchy. It, like, it feels good. It doesn't feel dry or icky or sticky or anything like that. So, I would say this was a total, like, win. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm probably going to start experimenting with just doing cream products more. Uh, so I'm actually really surprised how much I've liked my makeup today and how good my skin's looked. So yeah, I don't look like greasy or shiny or anything. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got at Walmart. I just picked up a couple things. I had a restock on my uh, Aveeno Positively Radiant Face Wash. Or it's like a skin brightening daily scrub face wash but anyway um I was almost out of this and I didn't want to run out because I didn't want to have to use just regular soap on my skin because I get in that habit where I just use dial soap and my skin just doesn't do as good and then I picked up an elf brow pencil this is where's it at? uh my spoolie that I always use okay why well, can't I find you where are you oh right here uh, if you notice, I always use this spoolie, and this is just an empty brow pencil that I had forever ago, and I just never repurchased it. But actually, I like it, so I don't, it was just for a dollar. So I'm just going to chew that one in my empties now since I'm not using that anymore. 
Uh, so I figured I would just get a fresh one. I think this bully is actually different. I, they've updated their packaging. Um, it feels like. Maybe not. Maybe it's just where this one's old. No, their spoolie is definitely different. It's bigger, maybe? I don't know. And it's got like a little cap, but I'm sure it probably did before. Um, I got the shade Deep Brown, and it's just a nice little brow pencil. So I'm going to stick that in my little uh, brow product area. And like I said, I'm just going to chuck this into an empties or throw it away or something. And then I got another brow product because... Apparently, I'm going brow crazy. This is also by e.l.f. I had never seen this. This is a dual-sided clear brow and lash mascara. What's the point of a clear mascara? I guess, like, if you're not wearing any makeup and you just, like, want to comb through your lashes and brows, that's fine. But I got it for the brow, the clear black brow gel. Uh, I wanted to see if I like this because I did not like that uh, uh, CoverGirl easy breezy brow stuff anyway this is what it looks like and it says uh, eyelash on one side brow on the other so i'm just gonna play with it a little bit and see what it does since we're sitting here i'm gonna try the mascara side first see if you can layer this like over top of mascara see if it does anything Maybe a little. I give them a little extra, a little fluff. I might try this as like a pre-mascara, like kind of like a primer and see if that works. But it might be good for like no makeup days when I just kind of want to give my lashes a little, a little bit of something without actually wearing any makeup makeup. But I'm going to try the brow gel and see if it, how it feels and does. Oh, I actually really like that. That kind of combed them in place, and it's not, like, too wet. Yeah, I like that. It really, like, combed them, and I feel like it's going to kind of, like, set them in place a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I just, for a dollar, actually, this might have been two dollars. I think this is two. But I was like, eh, I'll try it. So, yeah, that was just kind of random, I know. Um... But, yeah, that's the video for today, guys. Tell me what you thought. Did you like just the cream makeup products? Oh, I also wanted to um, comment. Uh, thank you all for the ones that commented on my last video, giving me some suggestions on, like, um, what kind of videos to make. Let me see who had commented on that. I know I had at least two comments on it. But let me see what they were real quick to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, okay, definitely uh, Tony Brown uh, wants me to do some like chit chat get ready with me's with my favorite uh, products, which I think is a great idea. I've actually done this in the past, but my I've updated like my favorite products like they're different than when I've done that video. So what I think I'm going to do to incorporate this every month is like when I show you like my monthly favorites, maybe like do a tutorial and try to incorporate all or as many of the products as I can, like in a tutorial, like at the end of my favorites, like kind of just a quick little look using my current favorites. So would you all be interested in me doing something like that? And then I will do an updated like my all time favorites, holy grail product in each category do a full face doing that as well uh let's see uh another person um leah's baylor wants me to do some get ready with me's too so that was the two suggestions so definitely some get ready with me's and some looks using favorite products uh so yeah uh that's pretty much it but thank you too for uh, making suggestions. Anyone else that wants to continue to make suggestions and give me ideas, please do. I'm always open for them. But yeah, that's it for this video. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.